Four days ago, I made a video about two kick streamers, Zerka and Hill Mike, when a donkey decided to collab with another donkey, and it led to a very disturbing, disgusting stream. I'm not gonna speed you up to things, I'm gonna let Megatron do that for me. Now that you're caught up with the whole context of this drama, just a few hours I dropped my video four days ago, they've already made a response. Just an hour after I dropped my video, Heel Mike posted this on his Twitter saying, Last night we got set up by a trusted worker of mine. This is me kicking out the girl's secret recording. She wanted fame so bad that she tried taking us down for it. They are both snakes. Nasty and evil, evil, evil woman. Told you we were innocent, you stupid fuck. He proceeded with posting a driver license of this woman which says she's born in 2005 which this is this is the fake id they're claiming that's on the woman to give you a little bit of context with this you know the podcast fresh and fit where these two clowns they go in the podcast and they shit in woman's mouth they bring the most stupidest woman out in the world and they just humiliate them in front of everyone we don't even know they're getting paid or not for all I know, they're being put in front of the camera and eating shit for free. The woman who hires the fresh and fit girls to bring them on the podcast is the same woman that Hill Mike is friends with. And she apparently set up these two girls with him. Hill Mike is blaming it on the woman who set him up with these two women. And he's saying she lied to us. Everything is a lie. It wasn't me. It was all them. I've never been so betrayed in my life. I can't believe this. Pe do, do not trust people. People are evil. Shit like that. It's not like he went on the stream and he just straight up said. We don't like teenage girls. I do. I love them. Anyways, this is the secret recording that he alleged that he recorded with the girls later on off stream confronting them. Bible and God the and Christ. Bible Bible swear Bible. on your no, swear on your mother, on mother, your dad, your whole family, dad, your whole, whole family. Look at me. Your whole family dies if you don't say, if you lie. Are you you're above 18? I'm above 18 on my whole family swear to god i swear to god just because they swear to god and they said that their family and their dog is going to die 100 percent, you should believe them and should put your whole reputation and career on the line my friend check their ids who cares a word is in the air you see words flying everywhere people around you on the stream especially these kick IRL streamers they're all fake, first of all. Second of all, you shouldn't fucking believe a word that's coming out of their mouth. Obviously, when he posted this, he thought he's in the safe zone. At the beginning, when he posted the whole clip stream, he was like, ooh, I'm gonna look so cool. I'm gonna stand for what I believe in, and people are gonna respect me for it. People didn't respect him for shit. They shat on his mouth. And after he posted that picture of her driver, fake driver's ID, and posted this video, he thought he could get away with it. But... He got even more backlash for it. And what did that lead to? It led to him deleting this whole thing. But thankfully, Drama Alert already recorded this, captured this, and posted it on their page. My name is John Zerka, prolific, notorious pedophile out here and now this is a video of him after he found out that there's a possibility that these girls are actually underage and he is the notorious file after that clip that embarrassed himself hugging this girl and just playing with her not only that she allowed her to play with him and play with his cucumba as well on the street oh she fixed my day bro i can't We're good? How do you know? Oh, you were fucking evil for that. You, I was not evil. But you knew the whole time, bro. I didn't know the whole time. <coughs> <coughs> it's fucking me, man. You were fucked up. He, he knows those girls, doesn't he? No. You're smiling, bro. <laughs> Notorious pedophile. <laughs> Notorious pedophile. <laughs> now, some people are defending him and saying, oh, this whole thing is his personality, that he is a notorious uh, PDF file. I guess this is a joke that I don't understand. Same like the Master Ugwe fans, the way the things he says and the, the way people support him. 
Maybe this is a humor I don't understand, but it's disgusting in my point of view. Zerka posted this on the same day as well, saying, I did nothing wrong. Followed every professional step by ID checking with multiple people and make sure that it was real. By asking Abby before going on with the IRL stream. Abby is the woman who hires the girls. I don't know why it made them sound like a prostitute, but she basically makes them collab together. And she's the one who brings in the girls who want to be on, on video. Still sounds wrong. Anyways, it's trusted work it of our hours ab clearly sniped us for clout on our off day and lied non-stop with real id of her friend's sister that looks just like her now try answering these questions without joking what would you have done differently he goes on and he says nothing that's what and you know it well mr zerka first of all if i was in your situation if i see someone coming out looking like they just got off of preschool they have school tomorrow they have like a quiz coming up i would id them Let's say they show me an ID. They have a fake ID. I'm still not going to be fully okay with it, especially when someone is at this close to an age of like 18, 19. My whole gut is not going to be comfortable with this. I've been on dates before with girls 21, 22, but even checking their IDs, their face does not match the whole age thing. I won't risk it. Fuck it. There's always another girl. In these type of situations, especially if you're in front of the camera, it's always best to think with your head and not think with your other head. And Zerka had a whole couch situation with that girl who claimed that she was born in 2005. And then we went over it in the last video where she was actually born in 2007 and it was a fake ID. Now, I'm not judging anyone but by the age of 30. They want to go out with 19. Sure, it's a legal age. But make sure they're... 19 and in the last video that i made there were a couple of people who came in the comments and they said that it was actually the girl's fault for lying they got trapped women are snakes it wasn't zerka and hill mike's fault even though they made those videos about saying that they like teenage girls they they would love it they will never id someone they came full on to support hill mike and zerka but i have one question for you Let's say you and your 15-year-old cousin want to go to a supermarket or to a mall, whatever. And it's like a five-minute drive. He comes up and he tells you, bro, I, I know how to drive. You ask him, are you sure you can drive? He will tell you, I've been driving since I was a kid. I'm an OG in drifting. I, I didn't only play GTA. I'm not talking about that. I actually drove my dad's car. He's been letting me drive for like years. You let him drive. You get on the passenger seat. You go forward. You hit someone you get into a car accident you fuck shit up you fuck up the car let's say if you don't hit anyone whose fault is it is it the driver's fault or is it the adult's fault who let the 15 year old drive all right let's say they're 19 they're actually illegal of age let's say that fake id was actually real they gave alcohol to underage girls no one seems to be talking about that as well. Now, if you know the laws in the US, in Miami specifically, that's where they were. The law for drinking is 21 and up. Let's say they're even 19. That's underage. That's illegal. Not only they were doing things on the couch, but there is another charge now involved with it as well. Giving alcohol, having all the evidence online to underage girls now apparently the picture that hill mike posted and saying no regrets was with this girl who they're saying she is of age there's still no proof of it zerka also posted a 14 minute video we're not gonna go through all of it just a few seconds as lies bro like obviously i didn't want to go i don't want this kind of chaos like really i would want something like myron and fresh what they have but Mike and I. I just wanted to show you this first few seconds where he said he wanted to have something that the fresh and fit they have. I think you get the whole thing wrong, Zerka. You're supposed to shit on the woman's mouth. You're not supposed to let them shit on your mouth. Fresh and fit, they're fighting for men and saying men, women should be slaves to men. Men are the superior. What Zerka is doing, they're saying that men are, uh, we to be specific. Me, Zerka, I am a uh, notorious what? A notorious PDF file. They have this whole weird Discord channel as well where they have conversations. Hill Mike said, definitely done with those. Literally, the jokes is why we in this hot water. I understand though. We innocent, but damn, those jokes roughed us up. Honestly, I'm shocked too. I don't know why the whole thing like backfired on them. If the, he said he likes teenage girls, you are gay if you don't like a teenage girls. They're definitely gay. I thought they were gonna like cheer him for him. Let's go, Hill Mike! 
Beautiful, beautiful man. That's a W alpha male right there. I honestly thought that people are going to go like that. And it was very shocking to me that it backfired on that. They definitely deserve better. And after I checked uh, Kick to see if they're unbanned or no, because Kick is very popular with that. Thankfully, for the first time, Kick actually stood with what they said and... They haven't unbanned them. But I think this is not enough. I say there still needs to be legal charges against them. But the way this is going forward, it looks like nothing is going to happen. And they're completely going to get away with it again. Now, I know some of their fans actually watch my videos and they want to come in the comments and they want to defend him. I have a special message for the people who actually tune in every day on Zerka and Hill Mike's stream. First of all, I don't get the whole point of bringing girls, slapping their asses, showing them off in front of everyone, going out, drinking, partying, and you being behind the stream and just like watching this whole thing. Ha ha ha, no way, that's, that's fucking cool. Two things I want to tell you. If you look up to Zerka, a person like Zerka and Hill Mike, Get out before it's too late, before you adapt their mentality and you think everything they're doing is cool. Second thing I want to say, instead of watching someone fucking partying and being with girls and like drinking and be like, oh, that, that looks like so much fun. Go do it yourself. Just make sure you fucking ID them. It's very sad watching someone like this have fun, go out drinking, girls, alcohol, these things, and you're watching it behind the stream. I would suggest you go out, go with your friends. It's pretty sad if you think about it. You need to go out and experience these things for yourself. Why the fuck you want to watch someone do it on stream and be like, oh, I wish I was them. They look like they're having so much fun. I'm not shitting on you. I'm just telling you it's best to sometimes leave the internet Go out, go experience your youth. You don't need to be watching these type of live streams. And when it comes to Zerka and Hill Mike, they're probably going to like let it die down. There's most probably, like I said, there's not going to be any legal action against them. They're going to let it die down. Then they're going to make a comeback for it. They're, I have no doubt they'll make another headline of being a notorious PDF file. They're probably going to take this shit now to rumble after kick, like permanently ban them. And I think that's a... At least we got some good thing out of this. And it's pretty sad for a 30-year-old man to be acting like this. I hope they get a reality check. Because you don't really know how people are off the camera. Especially like these type of IRL streamers. Some might be chill dudes. Some might be doing this whole thing to get a lot of views. I hope these kind of people, they get like a reality check. Someone just walks up to them and just smacks them in the head. I guess HS Tiki Talkies uh, punches were not enough for Zerka a few months ago. Let's just hope they don't end up like Fuzzy Tube being locked up in a hospital. Anyways, I just wanted to update you with this whole situation. And as always, since I'm uh, testing out the YouTube algorithm, if you do not click on one of these two videos, you're gay. Your straightness will disappear in three, two, one.